Hello everyone, today we are going to be discussing how much you can get for $1,000 in PC parts when it comes to Amazon. First thing you're going to want to do is you want to get a, get, you're going to want to get a motherboard. So you're going to want to go for probably AM4 since it's cheaper. And I would say go for ITX, not mini ITX since it's relatively cheaper, but you know what? This will have to do. Now, looking at it, it's probably 140 bucks. Now you're gonna want to go. You're gonna want to go with 16 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of DDR4 to be precise, and you can get them for about 52 bucks, 3200 megahertz. Next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to get a GPU. So say, so say I don't know. 3060 and as you can see the 12 gigabyte version is matter of fact actually a lot cheaper than I remember it being probably since everyone's buying the 40 and 50 series now the next thing you're gonna want to do now that we can say we've racked up a total of about say $600 rounding it up you're gonna want to get a CPU. CPU tends to also be pretty costly, so CPU Ryzen. You can get Ryzen 5s, the 6th core one, which I mean, it's okay, I guess. But I would say go for the 16 thread since it's gonna get you more for your buck. Or go for the Ryzen 7, 7 7800X3D. Uh, since, well, you can't afford it anyways, but whatever. So, we'll get the Ryzen 7 8-core 16 threads. Now, last but not least, since it's probably about 750 now with tax, you're going to want to get a power supply. We'll assume that, you know, out of everything, it's probably going to be 650 watts, so you can get it for 100 bucks. That wrecks up your total to $850. A PS5 Pro is going to probably go for about $799 new. So, this is more powerful since you actually have dedicated RAM. So, ultimately, just go with a PC. Just spare yourself the time. And you can get a case for like $30 or $50 bucks used. So, don't even start. Anyways, thank you all for listening. And see you all next time.